Hey everyone, wanted to talk about the next couple episodes that we're going to be pushing your way with this bike build. First and foremost, everybody wants the dyno numbers, so you're going to get them in about a minute. That's not that much fun to me. The butt dyno, that's what matters, right? Then, we're going to take her out of the track where the booty dyno comes into play. Dirt wheel install. Then back to finishing up the fork upgrades, fork wraps, and suspension upgrades. That is something that was highly needed. We bottomed out off the lip of jumps. Not safe, but we made it happen. Fell over a few times, learned some things, and well, now we're gonna head to the sand dunes with some custom paddles. So stay tuned and uh, get things rolling. I mean, you can drink my water, but just stop sticking your hand in there. Stop. Stop. Splashing. Everywhere. Birth control. That's what you are. You're birth control. Yeah. Birth control. Yeah. Oh, no. Not my food. Yep. Yeah, that's where we're going to sit today, huh? Okay. Alrighty. That's where we're sitting. I got it. is what a new KTM 2020 450 comes with. We're running a 1441. Actually, it's a 1541 stock. So stay tuned. Gear ratio That's that what I'm talking about here. Has. This is running a 1441. So we're still way down. But I think this is a promising news. With just a pipe and carb, you can get this kind of power. We're still shooting for that 50 mark. And that's going to be with high compression valve springs and clean up the ports i think we can get close to 48 horsepower which is really impressive for a bike that's street legal and at this price range so thanks for helping us out miss wing all right everyone we're here again drz build miss wing mm-hmm oh the carb god joe <laughs> He's like, yeah, right. All right. Oh, man. I mean, it looks like you took this thing apart. Just a little bit. A little bit. We got the silent disco going on over here. Because, you know, they don't like giving us free rights to their music. So if you guys know a way to put some high quality music. That's not, you know, the free kind. But like, you know, the major hitters. I just want to hit them up. Give them 50 bucks, play it on my on my channel, that'd be cool. I don't the know how hitters, they do it. Dog. What? The heavy hitters, dog. The heavy hitters, man. You know, <laughs> the real bangers. All right, so we are going to do hand guards with the blinker integrated. We're gonna do mirrors at the end today. We're gonna do the carb, delete all the safety switches, get it ready for the dyno tomorrow. <laughs> The doohickey, huh? Yeah, the red-handed doohickey. The red-handed doohickey. Thank you. Gotcha. It don't fit. It don't fit? That's what she said. Ooh. With the original. Too thick. Michael's got it. How about this one? Uh, he's like, sure. You miss 100% of the shots, you don't fit. Like, Ooh. <laughs> now again these are just plastic so don't get too excited tightening them okay so see see right here 
Now you want to make sure that you're straight on the bolt. So the bolt, that's straight. Yeah. So the way you do it is you just push on the bolt as you're doing it. You know, so you go like this, you can kind of go like this. Like hold it like that and go like. Okay. And you want to push in that way you don't strip stuff. I like that hat. Mm -hmm. Want to buy one? Mm -hmm. What do we got? Hmm? This TD kit. What are we doing? This TD kit. <laughs> yeah, just what are you keep, doing to my bike? Keep you safe. <laughs> so, I'll let you just throw these up real quick so I can mock up where it's going to be. Successful fishing? Yeah, thank God. Got the fishing done. <laughs> I like to use heat shrink, make it look all nice and neat. But this is just where the wires are going to sit so we are going to just throw that up like that and the zip ties stay or hmm? no they're going to come off okay so it's just placement yep got it just just so we can see where we're going to be at then you put some heat shrink on this side always keep the plugs so that way you can plug them right back in when you cut them off of the rear fender and then <laughs> what's so funny about that anyway <laughs> what what happens when you scrape the fender? Yeah. Uh, well. Is it going to be easy to replace? That's We're why I was laughing. We're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Just 11.30, don't go 12 o'clock? Yeah, exactly. So we got this, we got that. So, these ones we're going to cut. Uh, you got to figure out where you want to cut. You don't want to cut them too short. Uh -huh. And then another thing I want to do is I want to see with the rear feather where And with this too, you know, you want to tighten a little. No, don't tighten that all the way. You want to tighten this bottom one. So you tighten any two uh, position mounting, kind of like triple clamps. Anything that's going to put pressure through a... What's the word I'm thinking of? Separation of pressure, pretty much. Well, you want to tighten them proportionally, a little bit on the top, a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top. Yeah, like the same way you do a tire on the car. Same way you do a star on a tire. Bar mounts, you do star pattern. Or no, you do top then bottom. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just look at your owner's manual. Like a brake clamp or like a clutch clamp, you want to do those nice and even. Right. Or whichever, or whichever clamp meets first. What about fishing? Any, any fishing tips and tricks to that? Yeah, you just keep them real tight with the tank. You gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Now, now fishing will teach you patient. You need to pull it? Big recommendation. Yeah, I think we have some, uh, some barbacoa. Oh. Barbacoa in the, in the mini office. Oh yeah, there's two more in here. You want a barbecue? Oh. oh! Should I bring it right to you and feed you since you're fishing? <laughs> what are we doing over here? Is it is it running? Are you good? Or are you playing with something? Oh yeah, we're good. Let's check this out. Let's get our blink on. Ooh, that's clean. Let me see how it looks. Yes, sir. Hold this real quick. Oh yeah, that's badass. Hold this real quick, dog. Let me let me light your life up. That's bright, dude. Ooh. That's sick. Super bright, huh? You wouldn't yeah. think it'd be that bright. That's bright. Yes, sir. All right, show us show us some knowledge. Drop some knowledge on us, bro. All right, so how do you mount this thing? Well, up? it looks cool with all like it just missing like that. That'd be cool for a cafe racer, just yeah, just having like free wires. flowing. Like, so anyway, I always throw some zip ties up. I like to just see where everything's gonna sit and like lay. This one is gonna be super long because I don't want you to cut this. It's got like a little diode in there. So- Oh, that's your resistor? Yeah, it has okay. it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. It's already built in. So you think the fronts are gonna work without the resistor? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. You don't need it, but they just throw that in there. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat shrink this all the way back because this is the only part you're gonna see. And then we'll tape up over here because these connectors are going to come through the... And anything with these directions that were kind of off that you would be like, you know what? Okay, so here's what I would do. 
go to the store and get a bunch of freaking <laughs> 20 to 22 gauge connectors. Because that's what this really is. Because you're going to need small wire connectors. So I'll, I'll throw those small in. Small gauge. I'll yeah. throw those in. Yeah, you throw a bunch of so, small gauge connectors. So other than the butt connectors. Uh, that's really all you're going to need. Is there anything it's, on here you said it was left and right was kind of not right? Uh, it's pretty simple. But I would here's what I would do too. That's what I did. So when you take your rear fender off, you're just going to cut the connectors straight off. This one's going to have three wires. These ones have two. So you have your left blinker, your right blinker, and then your tail light. And just cut them? You're going to cut the connectors. Leave yourself like, you know, three, four inches, Boston. <laughs> Leave and, some uh, room on the connectors. So, <laughs> so you when you cut these connectors right here, uh -huh. you see how much room he gave? So he gave about, was, about three inches, four, four inches. Like three, four inches. Because see case. what happens over here is, I, pulled them off I thought it was going to be perfect. So I just cut them right here. And Oops. yeah, so. Most important part of the whole build. Yes, ma'am. Take it out. Start fires. Oh, I'm gonna always pull that out. But I mean, if you are gonna ride in some foresty dry areas, might want to put it back in. It don't make that much power. It's more for the sound and a little bit more flow for the dyno. But I, I can't really say there's a noticeable difference. More just noise. So I take this. Yep. Off. So take that screw out and then. You're gonna wanna try to just wiggle this out. See? Hmm. Why don't you keep that screw in there? Just put the screw back. Okay. And we'll keep it if we need to for any reason. Didn't even crank over. No. All right, start it up. This is exactly how we send it out, the carb right here. It's So this is two turns out on the fuel air screw. We are at sea level, which is nice. It's a brand new bike, brand new carb, it's easy, but the only thing you really need to adjust is your, your idle, and that's it. If it has a low idle, go ahead with that, and fuel air screw, little half turns. That's it. These things are set up, ready to rip. say it's just a Ford, man. Just a Ford. Jesus, the thing's pretty. Carbon, everything. Man, terrible day. All the four-door wagon. Couldn't afford two-door, man. Tough. Yes. What? He's the winner. He's the when you trailblaze from behind, that's what you do. Thomas Wayne.